So as you build your network and as you ha- you surround yourself with all of these these mentors, you know, there's people out there. You've been in the music industry. I'm making a broad stroke comment right now, but. You know, I think you there's from what I hear from people in the industry, you have to be careful on who you trust and things of that nature in the industry. I think really not just that industry, but all industries. And so what do you what 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 do you what should someone look for when looking for a mentor, somebody who can be, um, you know, there for the long term? Yeah, definitely. When I look for a mentor, I'm looking for someone that has already drove down the road that I'm trying to drive. Right. You want to, for your mentor to be able to know what potholes you will face on that same road before you get there. You shouldn't be looking for a mentor that never drove down the road that you're trying to go. Yeah. Every single one of my mentors, when I was trying to buy my factory in China, I had a mentor that had a factory in China, that operated in China, that knew what bank account, how to hire staff, what tariffs, what this. They knew everything about it when I was starting my marketing agency. I had a mentor that had scaled a marketing agency and could tell me, this is what you don't do. Don't keep clients and retainers for too long. This is how you burn out. All of those things. So I think when you're looking for a mentor, one, you should find someone that's willing to be vulnerable with you. The yeah. best mentors are not the ones that's going to stroke your ego, tell you you're amazing and how business is great and how <laughs> they make millions of dollars and they live in this house and they drive this car. Those are not the mentors. The great, the best mentors that I had were the ones that were telling me about when they were burnt out, when they went through their divorce, right. how they lost their millions of dollars that everybody, you know, they were on Forbes and the next thing you know, they were on the floor because they, you know, couldn't maintain the wealth and couldn't maintain uh, their finances. And so I think finding a mentor that has went down that road that you're trying to go on and that's vulnerable enough to tell you the mistakes that they made so that you don't make those same mistakes. Those are the mentors that I'm looking for. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's um, because unfortunately some, some of those people didn't have the people in front of them. Yeah. Right. And I, and I think, you know, asking for help is a vulnerable space and being a mentor is a vulnerable space, but to be, but to be real, that's, that's, that's the key. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Um, you, you don't need somebody telling you how great you are. You need somebody finding the uh, the the invisible gap that you just can't see that's hidden in plain sight. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. And if I could just say for a second, um, in my adult career, I felt like I had I, I needed another mentor. Like I was like, okay, I have these mentors. These mentors were great for this, but I need someone that's going to propel me to that next level that understands marketing, that understands scaling a a community, that understands uh, raising capital, right? And so I literally went on Google last year in January. First week of January, I was back from my trip to Bali. I went on, um, I, I literally went on Google and searched female mentor or how to find a mentor. And like all of these guys came up, but you know how algorithm works and how social media works. Next thing you know, I started seeing all these ads for intro um, coming. And then I booked a call with this lady named Jacqueline Johnson, who I absolutely love and adore. And she became my mentor. And on that first call, the 30 minute call, she told me exactly what I needed. Like you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. So those are the mentors you need. The the mentors that wake you up, that shake you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I I think it's I think it's that's that's great. And you do you need you need a mentor who can help kind of hit that that little nerve that everybody else is maybe too scared to to highlight. So you can grow and 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 that takes courage. And courage doesn't always feel good. Right? You can't wait for the confidence to kick in because uh, then it's sometimes you're you're too late. 